Welcome back. <clears throat> this is a uh, Casey PC class, Ventures 4. Today is April 23rd. This is part one. Part one. Okay, so what I would like you to do is open your books to the student book to page 784. This is so hard for me. Please bear with me. I apologize for all the errors. Okay, so on this page, there are four pictures. And what I would like you to do is to write at least four words that come to mind when you look at these pictures. If you have more, great. Okay. Actually, five. Five pictures. So please number your paper one through five and then write down three or four words that come to mind when you look at these pictures. So again, this is page 84, Ventures 4. You are to write three or four words for each picture. Let's see how many you got that I got. The first one. The first one that I wrote down was lay, L-E-I. <clears throat> so a lay is the garland or the wreath that is around her neck. Also, also, uh, The other word that I had to go with that was artificial. What does artificial mean? That's right, you're supposed to be just yelling these out or speaking these out loud. So artificial means not real, fake. So the flowers around her neck are artificial. They are like a wreath around her neck. Another name for that is garland. And the Hawaiian name for that is Lei. It looks like she just came from Hawaii, or she's still in Hawaii, or she's Hawaiian. So Lei, wreath, garland, and, and please repeat after me. I know I'm going a little fast, but I'm going to slow down, and then you can uh, repeat after me. Camera, senior, or senior citizen, Hawaii, vacation, be sure you do the vacation, happy, happiness, and artificial uh, camera. Okay, number two. We should got quite a few for this one. Clerk. Sometimes people who work in stores are called associates. What is it? 
The next one, retail store. The next, camera. The next, badge. Badge. The next, stock. And stock is are all the uh, things that are on the shelves in a store are referred to as stock. Next. Modern young woman. Okay. Actually, that was it. This next word refers to picture number three. I'm very stressed today. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Please bear with me. Okay. Um, picture number three. Modern young man, pleasant looking young man, approachable. So this is an adjective that might describe the way someone looks. Someone who's standing there like this, you don't want to approach, but someone who is pleasant and has a smile on their face, they are approachable. The next one, welcoming. Okay. You might have also used handsome, or a white shirt, or red tie. Okay, number four. Fancy camera. Expensive camera. More advanced camera. Technical camera. Screen. Close-up, close-up of flower, flower petals, receipt. I don't want to make sure I got the spelling right on that. Yes, I do. R-E-C-E-I-P-T. So in this word, the P is silent, and it's pronounced receipt. Next, return. Next, exchange. The next, gift. Oh my goodness. I'm just not too organized, but I'm not doing this over. So, actually, this should have stopped here. And the, these words are for picture number five. Receipt. Return, exchange, and actually it was a gift receipt. Okay. So the next thing I would like you to do is to um, create, a, create a sentence about each picture, making sure that you have a subject verb, Make sure the beginning of the sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with a period, and that the present tense, that the tense is correct. All of this is happening now. So it's going to be ing and the helper. Present continuous, actually. Okay, so picture number one, what are the possibilities? A woman is looking at her camera, ING and the helper, it's happening now. She is wearing a lei, 
or she is wearing a garland around her neck. Okay. She looks concerned. Hopefully you had some of those ideas. Or even better, you had your own more ideas. Number two, a, the clerk is holding a camera. Or Katrina is holding a camera. The clerk is wearing a badge holding a camera. Number three, a pleasant young man is standing in the store. Next. This is a picture of a camera. This is a picture of a flower on a camera. Last one, this is a gift receipt. So the ING is when there is action and it's happening now. The others are just telling what it is, so you would use the present tense. Okay, here we go. Page 85, and here it says, listen and answer the questions. Who are the speakers? What are they talking about? So I'm going to put the CD on, and I would like you to listen. I'm actually going to move the CD player closer so that you can hear it a little bit better.
Okay, so I hope everyone could hear that and everyone understood exactly what they were saying to be able to answer the question, who are the speakers? So if you look on page 84, who are the speakers? That's right, Rosa, who is the customer, Katrina, who is the sales associate, and looks like the store manager, but they don't give us his name. And number two, what are they talking about? So the big word here would be actually two words would be they're talking about a return and an exchange. So let's listen again and complete the chart. But before we do, please go to the middle of the page to the vocabulary words that are in the gray bar and let's go over the pronunciation and see about the meaning. Number one, camera. Condition. So the condition is what it looks like. The next, customer service. The next, defective. So defective means something was broken before you took it out of the store. It doesn't mean that you broke it, but that it was not manufactured correctly um, before it was put into the box. So it has a defect. Defective is an adjective and defect is a noun. The next, exchanges. Good. Next, merchandise. Policy. So another word that comes to mind when you hear the word policy is rules. So those, those are the rules as to what's going to happen after you buy something or after you purchase something. The next, refund. So there's two pronunciations for this word. If it's a verb, we say ref, refund, but if it's a noun, you're going to get something in your hand, that's a refund. So it's going to be refund the verb and refund the noun. Next, store credit. Next, warranty. So what is a warranty? A warranty is a promise that this is going to work for a certain period of time. And there are different lengths of warranties. Most warranties for small items like this is 30 days. For a larger, more expensive item, it can be a one year warranty. Sometimes if you have a very, very expensive piece of equipment, you could get a five or a three year warranty. And then there's also the possibility of purchasing an extra warranty from the store where you bought something. For example, if you buy a lawnmower in Home Depot, it has a one year warranty, but for X number of dollars, you can get a two or a three or a five year warranty so that you would not have to pay for any repairs. And so that's the promise that you get from a warranty. Okay, so in the next section, we're going to do part B and part A of part three.